Morning, everyone. Five Farley, March 2nd. We got the NCAA basketball best bet coming to you in one minute. Um, I am excited to do so. Today, we got a full slate, huge, huge slate of games. I got one picked out in particular that I like. We got a good edge on. That's going to be today's best bet. All other picks you can find at patreon.com slash five Farley. Um, just updating my records. Six of the last seven in NBA best bet. Yesterday, 3-0 sweep in the NBA. Happy about that. NCAA basketball has been hit and miss back and forth. Um, right now, hitting just over 58% uh, there in NCAA basketball, so profitable, um, but looking to raise that up to 60% here before we get to uh, conference tournament time. So uh, looking, today's going to be a big day. I think today today's I've had a couple games circled, and uh, today's going to be a really good day. And I have one game in particular that's jumping to the top of the pack uh, today, regardless of being circled. It's just uh, a really good spot, I think. Take advantage of an injury. Well, not injury, but uh, <clears throat> a suspension. That should get us a nice, nice cover. So uh, let's talk about that real quick. Oh, before I get into that, if you haven't subscribed, take a second, hit the notification bell, get my picks as soon as they come out. Um, we got over a year's worth of content out there, tons and tons of plays, um, including, uh, I mean, now we have coming up, we have March Madness coming up, we got the conference tournaments, we got Rivalry Week, we got baseball coming up, tons and tons of content coming up. So uh, be sure you check that out. Um, stay tuned, hit subscribe. Check out patreon.com slash five Farley. All my other plays are over there. Uh, you can check those out as well. So again, patreon.com slash five Farley. Follow me at Twitter, uh, at five Farley. And uh, so a lot of ways to follow along. Uh, but uh, uh, of course, best bet, you want to check in with that here on YouTube. So again, hit the uh, subscribe button so you can follow along. All right, so let's talk about the best bet. First of all, we have got Tennessee, Kentucky going back at it. Number four team in the country, Kentucky going against number seven. Just a few weeks ago, I was on the Kentucky side of this one, cashing in that ticket. Um, great, great game. So I'm looking forward to that rivalry rivalry match. Um, that game's going to be over on patreon.com slash five Farley. So you can check that out. A um, couple other big games that uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, LSU, Alabama, interesting spot for LSU to go under the road. We also got Michigan State getting revenge against Indiana. Surprisingly, Indiana was able to go into East Lansing and get the win over Michigan State. Now Michigan State's coming into uh, Indiana. Interesting how the line has moved in favor of Indiana on that one. So very, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how that one shakes out. So, all right, let's talk about uh, what I think is best bet here. And uh, that's going to the Big Ten. Looking at uh, Purdue hosting Ohio State, uh, you may have kind of picked up the clues when I was talking about uh, suspension today. Uh, if you're not familiar, Caleb Wesson, uh, leading scorer, leading rebounder, I believe he's leading rebounder uh, for <clears throat> Ohio State. Uh, he averages 6.7 rebounds per game and 14.6 points. They got a lot of guys that can score, but uh, you know he's their forward that uh, averages most points per game. Um, he is out. For the day, and so that's really going to uh, affect this game. I mean, already I had this game pegged at about 12 in favor of Purdue. Purdue is extra; they're 14 and 0 at home, um, undefeated this season. And if you look at their wins, I mean, I'm just going to roll back through the couple last few home games. Can they win by double digits? Let's check it out. Against Illinois, they won by 17. Against Penn State, they won by 12. Against Nebraska, they won by 19. Against Minnesota, they won by 10. Against Michigan State, they won by 10. Uh, Indiana, they win by 15. Rutgers, they win by 35. Um, so consistently, Iowa, before that, ranked number 25 in the country, won by 16. So very consistently winning by double digits at home. In fact, almost every single game in conference was a double-digit win at home. So um, here, Ohio State limping in, short shorthanded, um, losing their big guy, losing their leading scorer. I think this is going to be rough. I think at the end of the game, um, Purdue's going to be running away with this one, and Ohio State's going to let it go. Unfortunately, that's where Ohio State's at. And they can't afford a loss right now, sitting at 18-10, and 10, but it's coming. So um, I'm going to roll with Purdue Boilermakers, today's best bet, laying the 12. Good luck, everyone, today. We'll see you again soon.